My internet's running really slow this morning. Nevertheless, I am live and I hope that you can hear me and I hope that you will do me the favor of sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing if you haven't done so already. Hi, I'm Marlene McKinney and I am a Bahamian vegan. And guess what? I just came out of exercise class. You see, I'm still dressed for exercise because I thought, why not go live this morning? Because some of you are home chilling in bed because it's a holiday. Hey, hey, hey. It's a holiday, so I figured go live. Why not? Okay, so uh, give me a moment. I just want to share. I just wanted to like my own video. Hello. <laughs> All right. So thank you for joining me. I don't know. Yeah, thank you for joining me. And in the kitchen, we're getting ready to make this yumminess. Woo! It's my dad's favorite meatloaf. I just told my son, I said, Vincent, I'm getting ready to make the meatloaf. He said, oh man, that tastes really good. <laughs> so good morning, Miss Desiree. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do it, Miss Desiree. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, let's see if I can um, get some of these comments up on the screen. First of all, how you doing, Miss Desiree? Let me turn my music down. I'm not going to turn my music off today. I am in control today. I'm going to let the music just go lower. This one here, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if I'm going to hear it. My internet's running slow this morning. Um, I'm not hearing it at all. Okay, not even a little bit. That's good. I don't mind the little music in the back. Okay, so you're gonna be with me for the next few moments. We're gonna to learn to make this deliciousness and yumminess and good tasting meatloaf. In the middle is a surprise. There's a surprise in the middle, yum. My dad would make this for us, Sherelle. My dad would make this for us. Good morning. You put it on the side, cause you already saw it. I don't want it to drop and break. Woo. I would be like crying, Woo. <laughs> Real tears up in here. Let's put this on the side. Let's get this on the side. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was still sharing my live um, to other people, but I am going to just depend on you guys to do that for me now. How about it? Would you do that for me? Would you do that for me? Would you do that for me? Hello. 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 All right. Thank you for helping me with that. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Grace. Good morning. Happy New Year. All the best, all the best. Thank you, Miss Desiree. Yes, God is so good. We are live. We have the second day to this new year. It's a clean slate. We can write the story. Let's write it. We we can determine what the end of the story is going to be. Yes, we've got that. All right. Hi, Femina. Good morning. Happy, happy Tuesday. <laughs> happy Monday. <laughs> Monday. Yesterday felt like Monday. Hi, Darrell. Happy New Year. How you doing? Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please continue to share the live with your family and friends. Do that for me now. All over your Facebook pages, everywhere. Famina, where are you watching from? Miss Desiree, where are you watching from? Sherelle, where are you watching from? Whomever is on this morning, tell us where you're watching from and let us know um, how you guys are doing. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you also. It's a holiday, girl. Listen, it's a holiday. Yay! <laughs> so I am using a canned product today. Yes, I am. Don't be don't be hating on me. Don't be hating on me because I'm using a canned product today. I'm trying to teach you how to prepare a meatloaf that will be quick, easy, and I'm telling you, it's cholesterol free, it's kid friendly. My children love it. I'm going to ask Vincent if he would just type and let you guys know how much they loved this meatloaf. When they were growing up, I would make this for them. So I'm hoping that um, he would do that for me. I'm hearing something, but I don't know what it is. This is duck. This is duck. Kamina Nassau, Bahamas. This is duck. Which duck is it? <laughs> duck, which one? Doc, tell me which one, please, for me, no? Oh, my internet's really bad today. Y'all pray for me, please. I, I need your prayers. 
My internet's running very slow today. <sighs> Will you whisper a prayer for me, please? Whisper a prayer for me. My internet's running very slow. Very, very slow. Very, very slow. Oh boy. Pray for me. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. For even now, you can send your angels to fix the internet cord so that everything will run quickly and smoothly so we can get this show on the go. Thank you in Jesus' name for answering our prayers. Thank you. Amen. So, uh, let's see. I hope I'm still with you guys. I pray that we are. Uh, hey, Nina! <laughs> this is Doc. Yes, how you doing, sweet girl? Good morning. Let me know if you can still see me. In spite of the fact um, that my internet's running slow, please let me know. Hey, Zaria, good morning. Woohoo! Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me know if it's running slow on your end too, please. I don't know what's going on with my internet this morning. Nevertheless, we will get started. I pray, I pray that it will just behave. I'm going to close up some of my pages and then hope that it will, you know, just behave. What else do you do? I'm closing out as many pages as I can to see if we can speed up things. All right. I still see him frozen <laughs> on Facebook and that will annoy our guests. It will annoy them. Zaria, let me know if you can see me if, it, if it's, um, seems to be running behind a little. All right. So this meatloaf this morning calls for this veggie burger. It's vegan. It has no animal. Awesome. Oh! So it's just my computer. So this is our vegan veggie burger and it has no animal products in there. Yes, it's coming from the can. Don't hate on me. I love you all still. You can use this. You can use TVP, which is textured vegetable protein, unflavored. You can choose to use the frozen. <laughs> oh, you're here? Here at my house? <laughs> you are here at my house? I'm outside waiting on my, watching on my phone. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't leave. Just stay with me. Okay. So I have this here and I'm going to, first of all, give you the rundown of the ingredients. So for this product, for this meatloaf, you're going to need onions and celery, which I cut up in my class earlier. You're going to need some of this uh, mixed vegetables and cornflakes, cornflakes. My dad's favorite recipe, I'm telling you guys, this recipe that my father used to make, this is thebomb.com. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my skillet. It's a holiday. So I said, why not go live today? It's a holiday. I have nothing to do. Hello. This is what I love doing. I love teaching. I love to teach you guys how to eat healthier. And I think it's so important as we move into this new year. Right, Doc? Let them know, Doc. Let them know, Dr. Nina. Dr. Nina, Nina um, will let you guys know, you know, that we need to be focusing more on our health this year. All right. So I'm peeling my potato. My dad would put potato in between the meatloaf. Yeah. All right. He would do that. And so I'm doing it here for you all today. So it's just one potato for the amount of um, meat that we're going to have. All right, let me put that away. All right. All right. So let me see if I can, let me see what Sherelle says. Okay, hold on. She said, we can hear you loud and clear. It may be slow on your end, but not on our end. Yoo -hoo! Hallelujah. That's my favorite word. That's my word this year. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so I took my potato. All right, remove that comment so you can see a little better. Okay, good. But you still can't see because my name in the way. But anyway, let me see if I can just put stuff in a way that you can see everything I'm doing. I want you to see everything I'm doing, right? Oh, so we're making this. You want to stick by. That's our veggie loaf. And you can make this today. Okay, I'm just putting it in the oven. I want you to see everything I'm doing. So I'm turning my camera so you can see. 
All right, there you go. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh. now you can see. So I'm taking my potato and I'm going to slice my potato thin like paper. It doesn't have to be thick. And the reason I'm slicing it so thin is because it's going to boil in like five minutes. That's right. My dad was a master chef, Mr. Miller. I miss him today. So I thought, why not go live and talk about my father and my mom, of course. But my mother was the gardener. My dad was the cook. <laughs> That was just the opposite way in your home, right? Your dad used to do the gardening and your mother did the um, cooking, but not in my home. All right, so there goes my potatoes. I'm putting them to the bottom of my skillet. I'm putting them nice and thin and then I'm gonna add some water. All right, good stuff. Beautiful. So I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm going to add my onions to it. And I know you can see because half of my head's cut off. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sounds like shepherd's pie with potatoes. Well, I guess you can call it shepherd's pie, but um, it's really a meatloaf. It just was my father's way of, um, oh, I see why I was running so slow. Ooh, wait a minute. I had a file that I was saving from class this morning. What happened is my dad, he just found creative ways to stretch our food to make sure that everybody got. And he would always invite the whole nation to dinner. And I am not kidding. Everybody was invited to Mr. Miller's house for dinner. Grace, you've never been to my parents' house for dinner? All right. So there we go. Everybody ate Mr. Miller's food. Everybody enjoyed his food. All right. This was a staple. I'm sharing with you a staple. This was a staple. All right. This was a dish that we had every Sabbath. All my days of growing up in my father's home. Never got bored of it. It tasted delicious all the time. So I'm sharing with you something that's really very near and dear to me. It's my dad's favorite meatloaf. People at church would ask him about it. I'm telling you, he would make it. And then when I was about 13 or 14, he would drop us home from school. We used to go to Bahamas Academy and school out early on, on Fridays because of the Sabbath preparation. And guess what? I would have to cook. And I cooked everything, everything. I would have to season up the fish. I would have to do everything, all right? No, we're not mashing the potato. Ha <laughs> ha, I caught you. <laughs> no, we're not mashing the potatoes. So stay by. So you see what I do with those potatoes later on. All right, yeah. Gotta put some garlic, need some garlic, 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 garlic. Now I got this one yesterday. I'm gonna advertise for my brother, um, Mr. Turnquest over at Lil Generals. Let him know that Marlene put a plug in for him, okay? I got this yesterday from there. I'm not being paid for this, this ad, but I'm sending you there. Just let him know Marlene sent y'all there. All right? Let's put some garlic in there. Okay, great. All right, good stuff. Good. Tell me where you're joining me from. You're joining me from the garden? Hi! Awesome. Vicky, this is really good. This is Brother Miller's favorite meatloaf. Now I'm going to pop this on the stove um, and you'll stay here with me because I'm not moving. I'm going to do one thing. I have to turn my fan off. My fan, hey, my stove don't like my fan. <laughs> they have a war going on. In other words, if the fan is too fast, it ain't going to work. So I'm just going to turn it off. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to turn on my stove. You can hear me no matter what though. I'm not supposed to leave the, 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 the um. There we go. There we go. I wish I could hear you guys though. I wish I could hear you guys. I wish you would tell me a bit more about your day. Hi, hold on. Let's see. Grace said she's where now? I'm outside in my house gardening and watching on my phone. I can't miss this recipe. Woohoo! Thanks, Gracie. I love you. You know I love you so much, right? That's my girl. You are my girls and guys. Vicky says she can't miss this recipe because she was she's always looking for something new to, to do. Yeah, you got to always look for new recipes. A lot of children get bored. Don't they get bored so easily? That's okay. Let's put this away. We are done with that. So then I have my conflicts, right? That's my conflicts. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a minute. Let's cover that pot. Let me see if I can find it. Oops. Doopsie. Let's cover the pot. All right. Put it on the timer. Five minutes. Five minutes. Our potatoes are done and the onions and what have you. So I'm softening them just in preparation. Hi, 
Moi Mohali from Lesotho. Lesotho? Did I say it right? Mahali Mahali from Lesotho. Did I say that right? I hope I said it right. Lesotho. Where's Lesotho? Somebody tell me. Where's Lesotho? If you're just joining me, I'm Marlene McKinney. I'm Bahamian vegan and I'm from Something Better Today. I'm here in the Bahamas and I am just happy to be able to come to you wherever you are. I'm cutting my head off. It's a bit too much. Let's put it back a little. Tell me where is Lesotho? Lesotho. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Okay, so here's my confidence. Now you can use bran flakes, you can use corn flakes. It's your call, it's your choice. I'm using bran flakes because it has more fiber, okay? Oh wow, South Africa. I want to go to South Africa. Bring me over. I'd love to come. Nice, yeah, Lesotho. Am I saying it right? He says in Southern Africa. That's beautiful. Thank you guys for participating. I just love you all. I love my class. I love my class. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm taking some coconut milk, right? Taking some coconut. Milk. So my onions and my celery are cooking. And you can add whatever. Bell peppers. My dad did bell peppers. I never did bell peppers because bell peppers always spoil so easily. And I'm very concerned about stuff spoiling. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to take my camera up just a little, so bear with me. There you go. So that I could do so. Uh, there you go. So then I want you to be able to see me. Aha! And my bowl. So I'm going to put some coconut milk in there. Just enough to soften my flakes. Okay? Let me grab a spoon. Just enough to soften my flakes. Okay? It's landlocked, 100% landlocked. Wow, you're right in there. Wow. I'm going to go on the map and look for Lesotho. Lesotho, Mahali, Mahali. Thank you for joining us, Mahali. I hope you learn and I hope that you will try this recipe. Like I said, if you don't have the canned food, that's fine. You can do it with textured vegetable protein. You can do it with um gluten roast you can take the roast so the gluten meat and break it up all right so let's just break that let's let that soak a little i'm gonna put a little water because you know coconut milk is very concentrated right it's rich all right so let that soak awesome good stuff all right coming now now what happened is earlier perfectly yes thank you so earlier in my class i made some and it was too much, so I saved it for you guys. So it looks like, um, what would it, it look like? I'm gonna turn my music off. Oh, y'all enjoying my music? I like music. Y'all know I love music. <laughs> I love music. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna turn it off loud so when I do go back to music, it is clear and loud. Okay, so thank you. She said, Thank you, Lord, for technology. Your children can reach beyond Earth. Remote spawn. You don't know how much that means to me, but you just said, Miss Desiree. I have a book coming out in just a matter of about two weeks from now. And in that book, you will find my story there. It's called something. Sorry, the book is entitled um, In Search of Something Better. I'm going to show you the name. I'm going to show you the book. Yesterday, that was my free giveaway. If you stick around today, maybe, who's to say? Who's to say? I may just do that today. I haven't made up my mind fully. Hold on. I would like to show you the cover of the book. If you, if you will just get a copy of my book, you wouldn't know how far the road leads when it comes to technology and how God gives us wings that we can fly and be wherever he'd have us to be. That's a whole chapter in my book. You know, many times we... Think we can limit God. Don't try to limit him. He is capable of reaching wherever and as far. I love that we can be in Africa. I love that we can be in Jamaica. I love that I can be in Bermuda. I love that I can be in the Bahamas. We could be everywhere. Something. That's what I love most about technology. So you just preached in a whole sermon, baby girl. Okay, I'm trying to pull it up. It's just taking a while. All right, so I have this here. And I am mixing it in. So what else am I going to put in there? I'm going to put in my vegetable, my mixer, stir-fry vegetables, okay? 
All right, let's see if I can get that comment. Hold on while the file pulls up. It's taking a while, but that's fine. The one good thing COVID did, it opened technology to the world. Believe me, tech, COVID did more than we give it credit for. Yes, lives were lost, but think of the people. Think of the people that we can reach by way of technology. I love that part of what COVID has done. Okay, so look in here in my bowl. Thank you so much, Ms. Desi says, amen, amen. So in here we have our cereal, we have our vegetables, our mixed frozen mixed vegetables. You can choose to do fresh, it's your call. We have nothing else in there so far. You notice that, right? I'm not trying to trick you up or anything. Let's get rid of our garbage. I'll leave it there until after class. Our potatoes are just about finished. And then I'm going, I have to. So what I have here, this is half a tin. Imagine that. This is half a tin. This. I'm telling you, my dad was master at stretching because he came from a large family, right? And I'm going to taste it right in front of you guys. I'm going to put this in here. Oh. All right. Let's put that in there. Awesome. All right. I'll keep that up. I like that. Amen. <laughs> hey, I like that. Amen. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Share screen. Okay. All right. So I mash my meat. I mash my meat up. Right? I mash my meat up. Yeah. We are making a veggie meatloaf. Okay? We're making a veggie meatloaf. Mahali? Mahali's asking, what are we making today? Did you see it? I will show you again. Give me a moment to run and get it out of the oven. So, in here so far, we have our veggie meat, which I have stretched a lot. Okay? Yeah, I used the tin today just to show you the quickness of using convenience. It's for convenience. This is a quick meal. You can do this in five to 10 minutes. You can have this in the oven for your family. This is a quick ref uh, meal. All right? Good morning. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a meatloaf. We're doing a meatloaf. Yes, yes, the book is entitled In Search of Something Better. I'm trying to pull up the file so you can see the cover. And if you stick around, I gave away a few free copies yesterday. It will be available in about two weeks. And um, I'll make up my mind. So, of course, you know, I have my cookbook. For those of us who are interested in purchasing the cookbook, it's Vegetarian Delights, it's available online only. Then I also have another book. This is my, gonna be my third book now. It's going to be called, um, sorry, my, my second book is 13 Steps to a Thinner You. I have one that was battling with weight all my life as a child growing up. And now the Lord gave me the message and I'm sticking with the program and I'm inviting everyone worldwide to join me. It's not just for weight loss, it's for reversing nine out of 10 ailments that we may be facing today. So this is what we're using. Okay, let's get back to, to our class. Let's see if the file pulled up. Oh, this is gonna give me issues today, ain't it? Ain't it, ain't it, ain't it, ain't it, <laughs> ain't it? Let's see, it is, it? oh, you know what happened? I had to clear my phone yesterday. So I will send it quickly to my phone. I want you guys to see the cover. Sorry. I want you to see the cover of my book. Let's see if I can go there so I can share with you. I'm so happy to see each and every one of you. And Happy New Year. I'm coming right now. I just wanted to show you um, my newest book that's coming out in just a short few, two weeks from now. It's entitled In Search of Something Better. And... Um, I'd like each of you to get a copy of that book. And as soon as you get it, will you do me a favor of running on over to, um, you can go to Amazon and give a review, leave a review for those who um, may not be able to, you know, to get it. Um, book. Let's see if I can find it.
There we go. I'll show you now the copy of my book. Okay, so our meatloaf is almost finished. It's almost ready. Look at that. Well done for me. Let me share my book with you so you can see it. When you see it, I hope that you will definitely purchase one. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Linda. Thank you, um, Anton Mill. Happy New Year to you too. And may God's richest blessings be each and every one of you all as we venture into this new year. The beautiful thing about this new year is, guess what? We are launching into a year where God is giving us a fresh start. So this is my book. It's in search of something better. I'm trying to get the, um, Marlene McKinney. And I'd like you guys to get my book. It's a copy. Um, it's a, the story of how I've gotten to where I'm at now. And um, yeah, I just want you guys to know that God has a plan for each and every one of us. Believe me when I say that. He really, really does. And um, so all we have to do is to just simply walk into, you know, this, uh, the, the path that he has lit before us. Um, you know, he, he's really desiring that we would come into something better. It is his desire that we will be, um, you know. Okay, here we go. This is the one I wanted you to see. I'll end with this picture today. All right, here we go. Good stuff. So it's his desire that we will have something better. That's his desire, you know? And um, the sooner we realize that, the better for us. Um, I opened it and then I mistakenly closed it. <laughs> okay, there it is, I found it. All right, good. So happy new year to each and every one of you. So we're making a meatloaf. Let me show you what it looks like, but I'm gonna season this one first. Okay, so what do I put in here? Ooh, hold on. Let's check our potatoes. Let's see if they're ready. All right, we're gonna need this cutting board. Hold on. Let's see if the potatoes are ready. Let's see. All right, let's see, let's see. Guess what? Guess what? The potatoes are ready. Y'all were supposed to set an alarm, guys. You didn't set the alarm for me. Cha 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 cha. All right. I told you set an alarm. Five minutes. So this meatloaf. I don't know if Zaria likes it. Zaria, do you like this meatloaf? I don't know if she's ever had it. All right. So here we go. So I am going to take the onions and the bell pepper. Not bell peppers. I have onions and celery. Okay, let me move that so you can see what I'm doing. The potatoes I'm putting here, and they are cooked. Put them right there. We're not mashing the potatoes, and the potatoes are not going in like that, so you have to stick around to see what we're doing with the potatoes. This here was my dad's favorite recipe. Oh, the potatoes are overcooked. Let's <laughs> see so if I could get them out. Let me fish them out. I didn't want to dirty all those dishes. We just use what we need, right? That's what we do. Get those in there. Put these here. All right. Good stuff. So we cut those potatoes and put them on the... Hi. Happy New Year to you. I prayed for you this morning. I did. I did. I did. I did. Good morning, Miss Charmaine, and Happy New Year to you, too. I'm assuming you're on my live. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just put all of this in here. This is just my onions, my celery, and my garlic. Remember, that's what we had cut off earlier, right? Oh, it's just a little bit of water. It won't hurt it. Good stuff. There we go. Awesome. Get those potatoes out because we need them for our meat roll. Okay, good. So then I'm going to add some salt. This probably takes about a tablespoon of salt because there's, you know, a lot of added stuff in there. I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper. It's your choice. You don't have to. It's your, your decision to make if you want to have a little kick. You know, this is my sidekick. <laughs> then I'm going to add some basil, just a little basil. And if you have some time, you can add that in there also. 
And of course, I'm going to add some more garlic because garlic is tasty in everything except for dessert. All right. I love me some garlic. Gotta have some garlic. So even though I added garlic, I'm adding more garlic. It's not garlic salt. It's just plain garlic dried. Okay. Then if you want to, it's your preference. You don't have to, but this is just Bragg's liquid aminos. Just a little. And guess what? I haven't had breakfast yet. So I get to taste yum 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 yum, <laughs> and then my 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 thickening agent. I'm using some flour. It's some uh, spelt flour. Okay. Now this is obviously not a gluten free recipe. All right. Not a gluten free recipe. Not. All right. I am going to add about a tablespoon of coconut oil, and only a tablespoon because I'm going to add some smart balance all right and you can choose to add smart balance or earth balance it's your call right good stuff i put about two tablespoons of that in there and then my dad's secret ingredient <laughs> hold on i put that up there multi-skill thank you thank you thank you he put a little bit of ketchup i put ketchup also in my um macaroni <laughs> that's a Bahamian thing. That's how you know I'm Bahamian. They put ketchup in everything. Okay? That's Bahamian. <laughs> Happy New Year. I love you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Lisa, missed you this morning from class. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Nadia. This tastes good, Grace. I'm telling you guys, this is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. My dad taught me how to do this when I was about 13. And I had to make it every weekend. <laughs> I would clean the fish. I would clean the chicken. I had to do all of those things. And no wonder I decided I wanted to do this as a living. It's amazing that God would do this. You know, God does things. He does all things well. All right. So, gosh, I got to get to taste. I get to taste. I'm not sure if I have enough seasoning in there, but I'll know in a minute. Yes, Sam. Now I can double dip. You know I wasn't going back for a second if it wasn't good, right? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! I want more. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Let me wipe my mouth. It is amazing. It's gonna make me cry because I miss my father. I miss my parents so much. Mmm. Oh Lord, I really have tears in my eyes, guys. Sorry. You got to make this. You have to make this grace. You got to. Peace. Peace, brother. Please hug and kiss my mother for me. Thank you very much. Hug and kiss her for me. Oh, my goodness. This made me cry today. Hallelujah. You know, heaven's going to be beautiful. Let's get there, okay, guys? Let's make it to heaven. Heaven's going to be all worth it. We're going to see family that we haven't seen in so long. It's amazing how, you know, you can miss some. I miss my parents. I really do. Oh, my gosh. I'm crying. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. I miss my parents today. Miss my parents today. All right. So I'm going to grease it. Oh, gosh, you don't even understand. I really, really do. I miss them today. I miss family. I love family, you know. Family is everything. What would heaven be like without family? And God puts people in our lives. It may not be blood, you know, but listen, I think of all of you and who have been so supportive of my ministry over the years. I could call almost everybody's name on this live right now. You've been here for me over the years, and I just say thank you. Honestly, I pause to say thank you, thank you kindly from the bottom of my heart. You know, because you guys have been so intimate and dear to me. So I just, you know, when it tastes good, I'm going to put a pinch more salt. Just a pinch. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. Lisa, good morning. Happy New Year to you too, darling. All right. But this is really good. Honestly, it's really tasty. All right. And yesterday, God blessed me. In such a beautiful way. I want you to see it. All right. Let me move the comments so you can see. There you go. Now, now you can see. 
<laughs> so yesterday, my neighbor, I was telling you guys yesterday, those of us who was here, I was pulling up home and my neighbor said, come on over here. Now I only just met the gentleman. He's a fisherman. He's out to see most a lot. And he says, come on over here. I want to give you some gas. And he proceeds to fill up my tank with gas. To overflow, overflowing. How do you say that? Over, like brimming to the place that it was literally like full flowing out of the, out of the tank. I want, I say all that to say, God, when he wants to bless us, he fills it to overflowing. And just because we are alive, it's a blessing in itself. We woke up this morning, it's a blessing. You can breathe, it's a blessing. It's a new year. You have an opportunity to decide how you want this year to go. Start today. So then what do we do with our potatoes? Let me show you. This is how my father would take one can of food, Grace, one can, Vicky, one can. And he would feed the masses with one can, right? Then we took the potatoes and we did like so like that. Miss my family. I miss my dad. I miss, you know, miss all of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we do it just like that. And then if you have cheese. Now, when he would make this for us when I was a child, guess what? My dad, we were not totally vegetarians in those days, right? And he would, I don't have enough potato. <laughs> Some got mashed in there. That's okay. You get the idea. Right. Yes, Nadia. What a blessing. What a blessing. Life is such a blessing. Let's just take care of this life that God has given us, you know? I do this because I'm really, really, very sincerely, I love to teach you guys what God teach me. He teaches me, I teach you. That's what I do. You know, I didn't even change it in my exercise gear. I said to my group, I said, you know what? I'm going to take this meat milk live. I said, because I really miss my father today. Now, when we were not vegetarians, that's what I was going to say. My cousin says, you're ADHD really bad. I know that I am. That's fine. We would take real cheese and just sprinkle in there. This is my vegan cheese. You do not even have to have cheese. You don't have to put anything in the middle of it. Just stretch it with your potatoes. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. You remember that guy? Where is he today? Where is he today? We love you and thank you. Oh, I love you guys too, girl. Y'all y'all have just been such a blessing to me. Over the years, over the years, my shop would open and close and open and close. And Vicky would just put up with my trash. <laughs> she say, open today or you close today? I say, close. Oh, man. You know. <laughs> I don't have none for the top, hey, but being putting them on top. You're putting something else on top. Yeah. Oh, that is all my little day of cheese. You do not have to have cheese. Please do not feel pressured to have cheese in your meatloaf, okay? Don't. Please. Don't you come into that comments. I see it. My hands are filled with all the grease from that cheese. You don't have to have cheese. You can just do it just like that. Just layer with potatoes to stretch it. All right. And it's one tin to like three cups or so of um uh, uh cornflakes, but I use bran flakes. I could turn my fan back on now. There we go. Vicky says we need recipes to feed the masses as many days. Um, persons just pop up. <laughs> you know that we were you were blessed to bless them. Yes, 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 yes. My dad would invite the whole church to, to dinner on Sabbaths. Everybody came here. Some Sabbaths we had as much as probably 40, 50 people. No joke, I'm not kidding you. He was just that kind of person. He loved to have people around, and my mother was likewise the same. You know, hold on, let's move that so you can see what I'm doing. And um, so they together, they were a team. And if they ran out of food, he'd go back in the kitchen and says, I got to cook some more food, Mosito. And she would be in agreement. <laughs> I used to be like that. I haven't done it in a while. So I promised the Lord that I will become like that again, right? Then you must be put that like that. So you can run over. And let Mr. Turnquest, what's Turnquest's first name, um, Vicky, from Little Generals? Um, trying to remember his name. I know he's Carlene's cousin. That's all I can remember. I know he's Turnquest. You can go over there and let him know Marlene sent you to get some ready burger. Let's buy him out today, okay? 
and he'll be like, whoa, what happened? This is Veggie Burger, sorry, Veggie Burger. I just can't remember his first name. And you can make, you can use corn flakes. You don't have to have bran flakes, okay? I like bran flakes because the bran flakes has more fiber. We're looking for fiber. So this has two grams of fiber. The corn flakes has, sorry, um, another seven grams of fiber. So imagine the traditional meatloaf that you would normally have, right, has what? No fiber zero fiber because it's pure animal base right okay good and because it's just animal products in there it means that it's what it's not gonna be filling and satisfying you know um because it has no fiber so then to top it off you can either use barbecue sauce or you can use ketchup and you can put a little maple syrup in there or some brown sugar baby hello hello <laughs> all right so you all know I love, I'm Bahamian. Bahamians love ketchup. Miss Desiree, Bahamians love ketchup. <laughs> Hold on, I missed that. She said, bye, Marlene, leaving for work. Oh, see you later. Have a good day. Damien, yes, tell Damien. Tell Damien Marlene sent you all today, okay? And then I have a friend at the register. I'm trying to remember her name. She and I sit next to each other at church, all right? I will do that. I will do that. I will send you the written recipe. I promise you I will. I have some brown sugar baby in here. Do I, I know where it's at? I can't find it. So I'll just use some maple syrup. Okay. Put a little maple syrup in there. There you go. Put a little kick in there. You know, my side kick got to be up in there, right? <laughs> and I want to just say I love you all. Thank you for joining me today. Honestly, I am Marsha. Do you remember my father feeding you guys this meatloaf as a child and as a young lady coming to his house to visit? Hi, Masha. Happy New Year. Are you in town? You need the cheese? You don't need the cheese. You don't. Okay. And here we go. So then I pour this on top. Now, he never put any of that on his stuff. It was, it was my, my, my sister's sister-in-law. What's her name, Kathy? Oh, Alafane, who said, oh, you're going to make the meatloaf? Are you going to put a sauce on top? And I'm like, no. And she was the one, sorry, that taught me how to make the sauce. She said, just take some brown sugar. She's American from Texas. Just take some brown sugar and some ketchup and add a little kick in there. And you got a nice sauce on top. <laughs> oh, this is good. So how do you know you're Bahamian? You like ketchup. <laughs> oh, Bahamians love ketchup. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's how you know you're a real Bahamian. I see you, Miss Desi. What you say? Hi. Oh, is a voice note. Can I play it on air? I'll just wait. <laughs> yeah. And that is our meatloaf. That's our meatloaf. This here, I'm telling you guys, has been a tremendous blessing to my family over the many years. And um, we've enjoyed it. I mean, as children growing up, my dad would make this. My mother never made this recipe, ever, ever, ever. I've never seen my mother to the stove making this. This is Percy Miller's recipe. Yeah, this is Percy Miller's. So let me show you the finish. I made it earlier, like I said. I haven't even cut it yet. I'm gonna pop this baby into my toaster oven. The beauty of the toaster oven. The toaster oven, yum. I don't have to light my stove. Put it on 45, and then that's it. So you're going to wait for me to cut it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what's happening here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, you can get a copy of the recipe. Most definitely, you can get a copy of this recipe. I promise you that I'm going to type it as soon as we come off our live. I'm going to put it up on my website, Something Better Today. I am promising you that I will do that. All right. Hold on one second, Ms. Lisa. What did you say? What does Lisa say? What does Lisa say? To go to my website, Something Better Today, in about an hour. It will take me about an hour to, I won't even take a shower. <laughs> that rhymes. You know, like crazy, right? I will take about an hour to get it up there. I won't even take a shower. I'm going to make sure it's up there. You are so entertained. I am cooking with you. Are you? Oh, are you making it now? You're making vegan mac and cheese. Yum. 
yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I see that, Vicky. Hold on. Let me grab my knife. Hold on. Let's try. This is breakfast. I normally have a raw breakfast, so now you're learning a lot about me now. I usually have a raw breakfast. I don't eat, um, I don't have a cooked breakfast. Um, I don't because that's my business, but no, I don't because, mm, mm. listen, let's try some more. Yum, yum, yummer. Mm, I want you to see something. No eggs and we have a clean cut. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. And we would have this with macaroni. Mmm, peas and rice. Mmm. Listen, I am not kidding you guys. This is so good. <laughs> Nikki, if Nikki were close by, she could come and taste it so she could let you guys know if it really tastes good. It is delightful. It is memories of my father today. So in honor of Mr. Miller, who I am still crying for today, stop the tears. It's happy tears, though. It's not bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I miss him. I miss him. I miss him. I know I'm missing comments on Facebook. My computer was running so slow. Um, I had to just cut out all the um, frills. Listen, love ketchup. Bahamians love ketchup. You know why? Because we have sweet tooth. <laughs> we have a sweet tooth, Cheryl. That's why. Let me see. I'm making sure I don't miss anybody. Um, comments on Facebook. Hmm. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Okay, so here's what I need you to do for me. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I put cheese on one side. <laughs> but I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> I have a sweet mouth. So I need this in my life. This is a good recipe. Oh, thank you. This is Mr. Miller's favorite meatloaf. Like I said, I've been making, I see the potato inside, look, the potato. And that's how we would stretch this. Because we knew that on Sabbaths, we have everybody coming. And not only are they coming, my dad would take home the guests who come to church on Sabbath too. <laughs> He'd say, oh, you guys are visiting? Come on down. <laughs> my father was a clown, I'm telling you guys. He was a clown. He said, come on, let's go. Come to my house. You know, mm -mm -mm. this is good. That is so good. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. I'm saying it because it's true. All right. Okay. Hold on. I have a commercial and I'll be right back. Okay. Time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan plan, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via 242 535 6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life-changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Amazing. So, you know, my life has been so transformed. In the past few months, I have had the opportunity to change my entire the course of my life. I, I used to have my little deli open, and it was painful going into work. Now I get up for work, I'm up at three writing, and then I go right into my classes and I don't feel like I work at all. So I want to share with you a little bit about um, this journey that the Lord has placed me on. I'm seeing if I can pick up the slide that I want you to see. Um, let's see if I can find that one. It's not allowing me to see the one that I really want you to see, but nevertheless, um, hold on, hold on for me. Okay, nevertheless, this is one that we can see, and this is a copy of my book that will be published in about two weeks in search of something better. 
um, as you go through life's challenges, and there will be so many of them, as you face whatever it is that you may be going through, just remember that God has something better in store for us. And it is his desire that we will have that something better. It is his desire that we will start living something better now. You don't have to wait until we get to heaven to have that something better, you know? And so this book, it's a 31 day devotional book. And in there, I will share uh, my journey um, from a few years back and how God led me to where I'm at today. And I pray that you will purchase the book um, for your friends and family. There are 27 of you here live now. And if you would just tell me that you will do me the favor of giving me a honest review, then I will give you a free copy. I would need you to do me two things. One, tell me, yes, I will do. I will, I will, I will give you an honest review. Um, you put it up on Amazon the day that it's um, launched, which hopefully is in about two weeks from now. Um, and then two, uh, you have to send me your inbox, me your email address, and then I will send it out to you. All right. So that's all you have to do. All right. That's all you have to do. Anita knows. Thank you for joining us this morning. We have a first timer here. And she says, and I love it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that you will come again every Wednesday. I'll be live on Wednesday again, this coming Wednesday. Um, this Wednesday is going to be Marlene on the go. And if you'd like to invite me to your workplace, to your establishment, to your home kitchen, then I will come and I will be a part of your your um your kitchen um or your staff or whatever. It's Marlene on the go. And every Wednesday we will go somewhere where we will have an opportunity to I'm trying to show you the no, there you go. But you have an opportunity to um to experience Bahamian cooking vegan style because i am marlene bahamian vegan all right so I, I thank you guys so much what can what what you can hold on aye, aye, aye. it says here miss nafflin how you doing again I don't know, you, are you doing this five mile walk i already finished my five miles okay when you do what you enjoy you do not work a day in your life no, i don't work <laughs> Hallelujah. i don't work i used to but now it's such a joy and a pleasure to be able to come to you in your homes and to be able to exercise together in safety. I think that's one of the most important things ever. You know, I, I will share a story and then we will close out. I'm so happy that all of you are here this morning um, on this beautiful second day of the new year. Last year, I think it was also the second, maybe a year today. Oh Lord, I'm gonna cry again. Last year, I think it was either yesterday or today. I think it was today. Um, yeah, it was today. One year exactly today. Wow. Oh, my God. One year exactly today, I had the unfortunate situation of finding a young lady on the street where I live. She had just been raped. And um, I was like, it was, it was two of us walking, a gentleman from my church, Mr. Bruce Young. And normally, my cousin and I walk together, Corey, and he may be watching. Hi, Corey. Happy New Year. Love you guys. And he said, I said, Mr. Young, I'm hearing some screams. And I was hearing the screams for such a long time. And he said to me, he said, are you sure? I said, yes, sir. I'm hearing screaming. And we kept walking towards the screams. And I said, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. And he was like, I said, I, I don't want to go. Let's just turn around and let's go back. He said, no, you're with me. You're safe. Let's go. And so we continued walking. And as we were approaching the school right up the road from me, there was this young lady in the street. The only thing she had on was a bra on one breast. Everything was naked. I looked at the young lady and I said, she said, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Ma'am, I'm not crazy. She said, there's a gentleman in the bush. She just attacked me. And this was a year ago today. And um, I looked at her, Mr. Young being very uncomfortable with her nakedness, ran on to um, get some help. 
he ran right across to the to the booth where the security of the school was, which was only feet away, a few feet away. And it was like weird to me that he wasn't hearing the screams that I was hearing, and I was hearing it a block away. But anyway, that's another story. Anyway, so I'm looking at myself, I'm thinking, what can I take off to give her? You know, I have on lots of clothes usually, but that particular morning I said, I'll just wear a jacket, I won't wear a blouse. And it was just crazy. Anyway, anyway, so I am um, giving her the option to take off my blouse when Mr. Young brings a blouse and she puts on the blouse. That young lady was raped. That morning was the last morning. Maybe I went out one day after. I, I couldn't, I, I was no longer comfortable because I would sometimes walk out there in the mornings by myself in the dark. And now today, the Lord has given me a program where you can work out with me in the safety and comfort of your home Early morning at 5 a.m., we have an exercise class. I'm teaching vegetarian cooking two days a week. We have lectures two days a week. And we have a time to testify about how your program is going on a Friday. This is not just for weight loss. This program is to help you to reverse whatever lifestyle diseases we may be suffering from. I don't care what they may be. It has been proven over and over again that nine out of 10 of the illness that we may be facing can be reversed if we simply um, tap into this, um, to the, you know, to the principles that we are teaching. Let me see if I can pull up a copy of my book so you can see it. You can go on Amazon and you can purchase that book. Today, I'm going to ask my son to put it on special just for my group. I'm going to see if he can do that. Um, I have some hard copies coming in. Hopefully this week they will be here. And if you'd like to have a copy, it's 13 steps to a thinner you. I'm going to put it up so you can see it. Um, and then, like I said, you will get a copy of my book as a gift for being here today. And all I need you to do is share with me an honest review. And I need that to go on Amazon the day, the day that we go, we launch it. So that's the book that you can get. It's 13 steps to a thinner you. We lose 14 pounds in two weeks. It's no joke. And so that program, is ongoing. It's a live program here in my home. You know, you are, I have people as far as Australia, we have people in Africa, we have people all over the world, Jamaica, and this morning we have someone joining us from Indiana for the first time. So if you'd like to be a part of our community, then I ask you to join the program, WhatsApp me, and I'll get to you. Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 Weight Loss Challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life-changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. So thank you for joining me. It's exactly an hour to the minute. To the minute. <laughs> One second for me. Hmm. Let's go back to our comments. I want to make sure everybody's comments get up there. Done with walking. All right, girl. Hi, Miss Can. Happy New Year. Blessings to you too for the year 2023 just ahead of us. Famina, thank you for joining. Thank you all for joining. Miss Mill, guess what? The beauty of the virtual life is we can be anywhere at any time. So please, you can WhatsApp me. My number should be on the screen. I will do that now. I'd be more than happy to share with your um, groups um, how you can definitely, there we go. That's my information. Let's scroll into the bottom. I forgot how to do that just earlier. I just remembered. So I look forward to seeing each and every one of you again really soon. Thank you so much for joining. And like I said, if you could email me your information, I will get a copy of the book to you in your email in about two weeks from now. Thank you for joining. God bless you all. And I wish you a very, very successful 
2023. From the bottom of my heart and from my kitchen to yours, something better today, Marlene McKinney, Bahamian Vegan, lots of titles. I wish you well. God bless. You too. Thank you so much. You have a great day also. Let's go back and let's give a shout out to those who were here this morning. We had Sherelle. We have Dr. Nina in the house. We have Victoria. We have Mahali Hali. I love it. <laughs> From all the way in Southern Africa. Miss Desi, you had to go to work. We thank you for stopping by this morning. We have Miss Linda. Thank you for joining us. We also have Lisa Lisa making her macaroni and cheese. We have Nadia. Mali, love you guys. Don't forget to give mom a hug and kiss for me. Lisa D, good morning and happy new year. Nadia again. Let's see, I'm making sure I don't want to miss anybody. Miss Marsha Stubbs McLean. Thank you so much for joining us today. Anita knows whose first time it was. I pray that you'll be blessed um, with coming often. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our webs on our YouTube channel. We need you. Dr. Nathrin Lacroix. Miss Can, Miss Can, love you much. And of course, Miss Often Mill, Often Mill. God bless you all. Until next time, this is your friend Marlene McKinney, Bahamian Vegan.